Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Interesting, Bob. I know you've done a lot of that. Um, okay, shifting gears. Well, one more question on Blackwater. Do you think this is going to teach him a lesson that all this is coming out, or will this just further encourage it? And next it'll be, oh, yes, every neighborhood has its mercenaries over you, and if you get out of line, they're going to double cap you. I mean, is it just going to turn into that? I think that uh, it's a neutral thing. They'll continue to do it. I uh, think that they're bulletproof, so to speak. And how far uh, these charges go remains to be seen. you got to remember uh, that these people, not just in Blackwater, but in Washington, who are backing them up, are going to protect them. Uh, it, it's not going to get into court. They're going to kill these people uh, who have made the complaints and made these statements. And uh, will it stop there? Probably. I mean, they're very, very powerful. You, you can't use the court system. And, and goodness knows, Alex, you know that. I mean, it's a two-tiered system for those who are connected and those who aren't. Uh, look at look at Greenberg, who ran AIG. That they fined him fifteen million dollars. It's chumps change. He stole billions. Yeah, it's a joke. You steal and make two billion, and you pay a fifteen million dollar fine, and it's literally a huge joke. And then he goes and has a beer with the judge afterwards. Michael Milken stole three billion dollars. And so he gave back one billion and kept two. It's it's all about money. It's all about power. I mean, you know, I observe these things in my publication. If you notice, at the end of a paragraph where somebody gets off the hook, a GE just got off the hook the other day for fifty million. Chump change. They neither admit nor deny nor do they ever get charged criminally. And they've committed fraud, and they should be charged criminally. And they're not. Why? Because they're Illuminist or Illuminist connected. And that's what's going to happen with Blackwater. Well, it's seriously bad news. Uh, on the economy, what are the economic numbers? I mean, it looks like all the Main Street numbers are just imploding faster than ever. But meanwhile, they're saying, oh, look at the stock market. It's up. It's actually down the last few days. Is that another sucker's rally? It surely is. And, and the reason the market went up today was because of the employment report, and they would have us believe that unemployment went down from uh, uh, 9.5 to 9.4% and that um, uh, there were only uh, uh, a smaller amount of uh, jobs last lost, uh, uh, which were 247,000. Now, I'll give you a secret to this. And uh, they said that uh, that there were revisions for 43,000, which is not a lot. But what they use is this birth-death ratio, which we discussed before, where government goes and says, look, we can't figure out how many people are hired or fired by small and medium-sized companies. We just couldn't cover everybody. So we're going to guess at it. And they guess they make new jobs over old jobs as a net, plus 185000 a month. Now, they do that on a basis where it's not 185000 each and every month. One month, month, month they may create 50,000 jobs, and the next month, 200,000 out of thin air. Now, last July, that's a year ago this past July, they, create, they, they had 1.4 million jobs that were lost, and then they seasonally adjusted them showing a loss of only 128,000. Now, I don't know yet what they did with these figures. Unfortunately, I'll know tomorrow. But the figures that came out that made the market go up today were totally bogus. Well, that's totally. asinine. I mean, they're saying, Obama says, oh, we may go above 10% unemployment when every major institution outside of government says it's been over 20 points for months. Well, it's starting to say so now because they're finally, I'm getting, myself and particularly John Williams, are, are getting enough coverage so everybody's saying, gosh, they must be right. You know, like after 10 years of us telling everybody that they've been doing what they've been doing. But that's what made the market rally. Early yeah, this heard... morning. Well, tell us about when we get back. We'll take some calls, Bob. Yeah. But I was just going to say, I, I last night driving home, I almost ran off the road. Fox News on Local 590 
said that it was much higher than 10 percent because they don't count people that have quit looking for jobs. So the truth is coming out. Bob, let's hold you five more minutes over if you can so we can take a few calls from Steve, Jim, Jeff, Larry, and Ben. But, but just briefly, is it, this is what Max Kaiser and others are saying, I want to see if you concur. Is it all the tens of trillions they've stolen in the 23.7 trillion? They're buying up the stock market. And so that's why it's a speculative thing. It's now basically a commodity like gold or oil. We see all of that rising. Those dollars are going into that. And we're seeing inflation there. And that's why the market's going up, but everything else is dying. And when will we see that inflation flood out into the real economy? Well, you have this uh, battle that's been going on for five and a half years where they've been trying to keep inflation, deflation from getting out of hand. And they've done that through the money supply and the creation of credit, which was the old M3. And now what's happened over the last two years, they had the opportunity to create $23.4 trillion. Uh, and that is what's going into these markets. And if you notice this morning, if you get up early, you saw that the FTSE in London and the DAX in Frankfurt were both off 100 points or so. And they were trading the Dow down about 40 points. And then this bogus report comes out uh, on, on the employment numbers, uh, and we'll have further numbers uh, in my next issue, or probably on Wednesday on this. And the stock market goes up 150 points. And uh, the FTSE, and, uh, which is the FTSC in London, and the DAX, they both go up 80, uh, 90 to 100 points. And then at the same time, uh, they made the uh, dollar on the USDX index go up a whole point. And, of course, gold was down today, and they tried to get silver down, but they couldn't. And the point is, these markets, they are totally manipulated. And these people don't care whether you know it or not. And everybody on Wall Street knows it. They just try to get in the right direction. But that's the issue is the corruption just gets crazier and crazier and more and more obvious. Let's take a call. Steve in Chicago, you're on the air with uh, Bob Chapman. Yes, uh, Bob, you and I are older guys. Uh, I, you and I appreciate the apotheosis of uh, Barack Hussein Obama. But the reason why I called, uh, the article in the Washington Times today, uh, it, it's entitled Justice, Justice Department Press to Explain Panthers Drop Charges. Now, that has to do with a case against the new Black Panthers who were intimidating Clearly intimidating. They got pictures of it with clubs and guns and everything else. And so, anyways, these charges were dropped as, as soon as uh, Mr. Holder came in there. Of course, the, the colored uh, attorney general. Now, what I want to do is uh, I want to quote a, a former deputy associate U.S. attorney general uh, said this, quoting, if you swap out the name of the new Black Panther Party in this case for neo-Nazi groups or the Ku Klux Klan, you would have had a different uh, outcome, he said. Now, to me, that means this is this is politically motivated. And no, it is, and I appreciate your call. And they can commit the hate crimes. See, hate crime means if you're white, you can have you can be murdered, and it's a wonderful thing. And they give a medal to who kills you. But if you're another group, and somebody says something they don't like, you get arrested. But again, that's only because the elite want to rob the middle class, which they see as predominantly white, though it really isn't. And so that's all this is about, is divide and conquer. Uh, Bob Chapman, your comments. And that's exactly what it is. And they're setting groups against one another, and it, it, they're just using people. And all these poor fools that go and get sucked in by it, uh, uh, shortchanging themselves, that's for sure. Yeah, we need whites and blacks and everybody else to just stop killing each other. Like Rodney King said, can't we all just get along and arrest the bankers? As Rodney King said, can we all just get along and arrest David Rockefeller? He really said that. He said, why can't we just get along and end the Fed and arrest the Rothschilds? Back in 70 seconds.